I'm flying out to a conference, which seems like the perfect time to answer the question, can a person fly after having a pulmonary embolism? Do you see that plane in the background? Can patients after a pulmonary embolism fly? Well, many patients who have experienced a pulmonary embolism need to fly. And the question is, can they? Is it safe for them? There are two problems with flying after a pulmonary embolism. The first problem is that the uh, pressure in the cabin when we fly is lower than the pressure on ground level. The, it's called pressurization. The cabin is pressurized. Now, the rules are that the cabin needs to be pressurized to mimic an altitude of six to 8,000 feet. Plainly, that means that when you're in the cabin, even if the plane is higher, it feels as if you're up to 8,000 feet. Now, the, um, you all know this because you've, some of you experience, have experienced uh, some pressure in your ears. You, you've seen bot bottles kind of crunch up uh, in an airplane, and that's where that came from. Now, you probably know that oxygen comprises of about 21% of our, of our atmosphere. Um, now, when you're at that altitude, the available oxygen is actually lower. So the available oxygen is more like 15 to 16%. And that means that if you are short of breath after experiencing a pulmonary embolism PE, you may not have enough oxygen to sustain you and, you may, and you, maybe you shouldn't fly. So the first rule of thumb is that if you're short of breath on ground level, you probably should not fly. Uh, fly until you, that is resolved. Now, there are some specialized tests that you can uh, uh, have that are hard to come by and a little cumbersome, uh, but, the, but they're, they're available. Uh, you can have exercise tests with a special mask on your face and they'll give you less oxygen and see how you respond. So if you really need an answer that way, you will get that. But usually when you ask your doctor if you can fly, they'll examine you and they will uh, see if you can perform simple exercises such as going up and down stairs or mowing your lawn. And usually if you can do that, then probably it's also okay for you to fly. One more thing to note after a pulmonary embolism is whether the right side of the heart was involved. Sometimes after a pulmonary embolism, the right side of the heart can be dilated, the pressures may go up, or it can be dysfunctional. If that is the case, flying may make that worse. And so more attention needs to be given before deciding uh, whether a person can fly when the right side of the heart is involved. Now, the second problem when flying is that uh, we know that flying is associated with more clotting for some people. So the question is, you know, if you've had a pulmonary embolism, you had a blood clot, are you at more risk of clots now that you're flying? The answer is a little uh, complicated and also uh, a little practical. So uh, if you're on a blood thinner, then ironic, you're actually protected, right? So you can fly because you're on a blood thinner and you're protected. If you had a clot and now you're off a blood thinner, then you should probably consult your physician about the risk for you to fly again. Uh, what is the added risk? It's probably small for most people, but you should make sure before you kind of make a decision. Uh, so that's it about pulmonary embolism and flying. There's more to learn about it. Well, we, we probably uh, need to learn more so we could help our patients more. If you have questions or comments, please kind of lay them out on the bottom. I'll try to answer them all. And as always, uh, please uh, share this video if you found it uh, useful. Like it, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.